Well, Dave, it's a pleasure to talk with you. Same here. Um, let's start with a question. So um, what does health equity mean to you and why, why is it important? Um, health equity is a term we often use in the United States the term health disparities as well or health inequities as well so there are lots of different terms used but basically they describe differences in health that are unfair and unjust. There are some differences in health that occur, that, that, that naturally occur, that would be expected to occur, but it's those differences that are unacceptable because they are unfair and unjust. And I think it's important to me because there are such large and pervasive uh, disparities in health in the United States by, by place, um, by socioeconomic status, income, education, occupational status, and by race and ethnicity. And I, I think it's unacceptable in a country, given the values that we have of providing equal opportunity for all. C can you personalize that for a minute, a story or an episode or something that, that, that gives us a sense of why this hits home? Um, it, it hits home for me f for many reasons. Uh, one is I have spent um, uh, the better part of two decades studying as a researcher of these issues. But there are many personal experiences that I have had um, that brings it home in, in a very real way. I remember many years ago um, attending the funeral of, of a good um, college friend of mine whose wife, an African-American woman, um, had just died um, of breast cancer. And she was 33 years old. Mm. Um, and in America, um, breast cancer typically for most Americans is a postmenopausal uh, condition. Um, and her experience just typifies that of so many um, African Americans who get a very aggressive type of breast cancer at a very young age. So in the United States, we have this interesting pattern where white women have a higher incidence of more new cases, a higher rate of new cases of breast cancer every year. But on the age 40, African Americans have a higher incidence of breast cancer, reflecting the fact that they are much more likely to get the disease when young. Uh, I'll tell you a second e experience. It's one has to do with my own mother, um, who um, was receiving treatment, and because of poor treatment in, in a healthcare facility, had a stroke. Um, they had failed. She was receiving her medication um, through a patch, and, and a nurse had failed to, cha to change the patch. And so she had gone days without her medication and ended up having a stroke, which left her uh, with significant disabilities. So that, that was another um, example, because there's research suggests that it's not just her, but um, minorities receive poorer quality care and less intensive care. Sorry to hear about your experience. Well, it's, 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 I, I, I don't want to make it a personal thing, although, although the, the personal experiences do bring it home, but it does reflect that this is, is not an isolated case. If we look at national data for the United States, it suggests that just in, in terms of black-white death rates, that 265 black people die every day in America who would not die if there were no racial disparities in, in, in mortality in the U.S. 265 people a day. 265 black people die prematurely every day who would not die if there were no um, racial inequities in health. 